YouTube has made some announcements about the platform that's going to affect a lot of people. And there are people that are very bothered by these changes. Some of them are upset. A lot of people saying that YouTube is flirting with going the way of myspace.com. Now, before we get into what YouTube is doing, we remember back in March of this year, the wall street journal put out a hit piece targeting YouTube's biggest guy, PewDiePie, that has the most subscribers on YouTube and saying that he was a anti-Semite and so on and so forth. And it started a firestorm uh, with the advertisers. They started saying that terrorist content was on YouTube and they wanted to boycott. So they did the boycott. And then we was talking about um, how everyone was dealing with the ad issue. It even affected us. It affected everybody. It was not discriminatory at all. We had lost about 85% of our revenue here. And we had told you guys that at the time period. So everyone was seeking support from their audience all over YouTube. Wasn't just one group of people. And there are people that has helped us to keep our show going. And I want to say thank you to all those people who have helped us because we have definitely seen those people want to make sure that we can continue to put up content and we want to do something great here. And of course, in the process of that, I was heavily attacked because of it and that's fine. But during that process, I learned a great lesson and I made sure to make some changes and not take stock in a whole lot of people because when the rubber meets the road, you find out who the true supporters are. It's just that simple. But aside from that, you start dealing with a new bot that came out with YouTube and this bot was going to go out and look for content. That's not advertiser friendly. So a lot of people start saying that, Oh my God, my whole channel is getting demonetized or just all over the place demonetized, right? They have a process. You can appeal that and then get your video possibly monetized again. But you know, when you appeal nine times out of 10, you're not going to get it back. It's rare. If you do, then sometime I've logged on and seen videos that was demonetized. It was re-monetized again, come back later is demonetized and re like re-monetized again. I mean, they just had all kinds of stuff going on. So that bot was pretty bad, but it seems like that bot has kind of learned, um, what it needs to do. So it's not as bad as it was before. Now YouTube has came out with a new bot that people didn't know about and is a flagging bot. Now this flagging bot was put in to remove controversial religious or extremist content. Now this bot is just mass flagging videos that it hits on. So a lot of people have seen channels go down, videos go down left and right. And a lot of times people say, oh, well, it's my enemies is doing it. And it may be, but according to what the verge came out with the article, and we'll put the link in the description box. YouTube has a bot that just flagging videos. YouTube is impressed with this bot and said that it's been removing videos off the site at a much faster rate than humans. On top of that, they have what you call trusted flaggers. They had about 60 secret people in organizations that were giving the power to flag videos and they are trusted more than the average person who will flag a video. Some of them are part of special interest groups. Now they've added more trusted flaggers from 60 to 100. The Anti-Defamation League is part of the trusted flaggers. So those of you who say certain things about the ADL and uh, Jewish people, you have been forewarned about those videos. Also, they have groups like the No Hate Speech Movement and etc. A lot of special interest groups are now trusted flaggers to remove content that maybe some of you like. Now, me personally, I think people should be able to say what they want to say as long as they're not threatening people or trying to incite violence or something to that effect. If you're not doing that, then we all not going to agree with each other's opinions. But when you are censoring people, 
then either you're going to have to deal with it and abide by their rules, or you're going to create your own sites and move on. But see, the biggest problem with YouTube itself was the business model. And the business model was a free site. Now, some people may say, well, why you say that? A free site, you got to generate the money from somewhere, okay? People, when you log on to YouTube and you watching it for free, you enjoying it. You're not really understanding what they're paying for, for you to enjoy YouTube for free. When that domain you type in youtube.com, they had to pay for that. Whether it's a lifetime payment they made and just that's it. Um, but they had to pay for that. You have to pay for your SSL certificate, the HTTPS that you're putting in to make the site secure. You have to pay for that. When you log on to those videos, okay, they're on servers. Now, YouTube servers, I would love to see it. Their servers are holding videos way back from when YouTube started to today. And these servers got to be fast because when you know you don't like with nothing buffering, you will get pissed off. You understand that. So they're spending a lot of money on servers. Some people on here are making seven and eight hour live streams, which I think is ridiculous to be doing that but they get to do that on YouTube servers and the YouTube server has to hold an eight hour live stream. You get what I'm saying? And all that is no cost to you for them to do this. They have to pay employees to monitor the servers and to do other administration or whatever else they have to pay for. None of that's a cost to you. So how do YouTube get their money? Advertisers. And since they're heavily dependent on advertisers to run that, that's why they're having to bend and bow to the advertisers. Even though this site is the number one video site in the world, it still has a weakness, which is free site. And you had the mercy of advertisers. If the advertisers aren't there, then YouTube going to shut down. It's just how it is. Now you remember when Bill Maher has said the N word, and a lot of people call for um, HBO to let go Bill Maher. And people are saying, well, what are their advertisers? HBO has none. Why? Because HBO has always been a paid service. So either you pay for HBO to watch it or you're not. So companies that have a paid service aren't at the mercy of advertisers. They're not. Look at Netflix. You don't see Netflix with a bunch of advertisers. Why? Because it's a paid service that you're paying for. It's just that simple. So that's really what the bulk of the problem is business wise. Now, content creator wise is very frustrating because one minute you can't title videos a certain way because it's going to get demonetized. Now they saying that if the video is flagged, there's something new they have and it has controversial religious or extremist content and it don't violate YouTube guidelines. They're not going to move the video, but they're going to put the video in a limited state. Now this limited state, um, they're going to hide it from searches. They're not going to let you comment on it at all. And you can't even like it at all. So basically it's tucking that video away. It'll be on your channel. It won't be no strikes against you, but that video is going to be tucked away and nobody really going to be able to see that video. This is what they're doing. And me personally, they, as I stated before, they are flirting with the MySpace thing to me going this far with it about advertisers. Because if these advertisers are advertising on law and order SVU, which have uh, violent crime scenes, talk about rape and all kind of other stuff, and they still have advertisers on their show, then how is it that YouTubers can't get ads on their videos when they're not doing anything like that? And those terrorists that you're talking about aren't your everyday YouTubers. They're not. You don't see no um, terrorist group making videos and becoming a big name YouTuber, it won't happen. But it's, it has nothing to do with that. And understand something, YouTube is a big corporation about protecting the bottom line. It, it, they won't say that, but I'm telling you, that's really what it is. Some people may say, oh, they just removing black people videos. That's a lie. They are moving everybody videos now. Everybody, it's not just black folks. So it's not something that they're targeting to one group. It's just a sweeping thing they're doing. This bot is sweeping all over YouTube and that's what's knocking things down for the most part. So for us and, and how should we do things for us? We try to make sure to keep the rules much as possible, 
but we want to make sure that videos that I would shy away from because I knew the rules of YouTube, we're going to start doing them on advisedshow.com. I'll make a little promo, let you know about the video, give you the link, and you can go over to advisedshow.com and watch it. That's just kind of how we're going to do it. We got to play by their game. It just it. It's their sandbox. So people saying the censorship, they're a private company. They don't have to abide by uh, free speech. I mean, it's nice if they would do that, but they don't have to abide by that. And so unless they got a law that states that they must abide by the Constitution in private business, I mean, it's just um, what we have to deal with, unfortunately. I know it sucks for everybody, but the only thing I can say is create your own websites. It's not that expensive to create a basic website and just do what you want to do there and point people from your YouTube to your website. If it's something controversial or religious or extremist or whatever you with, I don't even know fully what that means. I don't know what controversial or religious mean. I don't know what extremists mean. I don't know. I'm going to go to a YouTube event, um, starting tomorrow and Saturday. I'm going to ask them what that mean so I can get clarification because I don't know what that mean. That's just like a vague term to me um, that they put that out there like that. But it's their site and we either abide by it or not. So just make sure to always check us on advisedshow.com and we'll make sure the real conversation keep going. We're not going to shy away from no videos you send us anymore. That's why I, I was taking days to make sure things are right on advisedshow.com and there's other things that we're working on as well. So um, unfortunately, it's another hindrance that we have to deal with as content creators. But I think once they finally get it ironed out, you know, maybe, maybe things will go back to normal. Um, in a few months, but leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the changes with YouTube. Share the video, like the commentary, and subscribe to my news stories.